Okay, you can't tell me that we're, we are both in Nigeria, I've married a Nigerian girl, and then you're going to tell me, oh, I'm going to go to the club in Nigeria and wind up on a guy because I want to embrace the Jamaican culture. What the hell? <laughs> what okay. the? Come on, like, Isaac, okay, does that make you're sense? Bringing up, you're bringing up scenarios where that would make no sense. You're, no, you you are a Nigerian yeah, person no. that's living in Canada. You and, okay, is that, is, that, is, that part, is, that, is that part of the Canadian culture? <laughs> Of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Most recorded, man. <laughs> your name now. You just say your name. <laughs> oh my god, this <laughs> time. <laughs> so the DX, and then you say I'm sure. It's like you're just, you're like, you want the best of three worlds. <laughs> like you want You're scary. Now I understand why the girls are running away. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> But again, if if this was something that like you and your partner enjoy doing, yeah, right, then it's not problematic. Yeah. If you're like, if we're in the club and some dude looks at you, you should know like this is not the environment for us. Yeah, 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 of course. Right? So, again, it boils down to knowing. So, like, I need more context here, mm. right? Did they, one, why is she so mad? Is she mad because she was right here and he no, started No, I was, I was just saying else? that from my point of view, <clears throat> from my point of view, from my point of view, in terms of who's who, so the girlfriend is African, he's African, mm -hmm. and he's doing whatever with the Caribbean yeah, man. in terms of dancing. Mm -hmm. From my point of view... He's he's gonna come home and it's cheating. But she was compared there. to if he was yeah yeah. But then compared to if he was if he was Caribbean, then I would be like okay, that makes sense. I think there's culture and then there's the culture of the relationship. Okay. Yeah. True. Yeah. So yeah. if the culture. So to you, Doxa, dancing yeah. it, dancing with someone else is cheating, or is it just the type of dancing you're doing? It de like it depends where you are. Like if if you're like for example if you're a Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I know that that's sense. yeah. I know that's a Caribbean yeah. event. Yeah, so my chest is hurting, but <laughs> I know that you, were, but... as long as you were just dancing one or two, not like holding on to one guy, then fine. Okay, okay. But so if that's you were in a the class, class. <laughs> this thing that's is capping, bro. No, 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 I told you so, my chest is so burning, you have bro. a girlfriend, you have a girlfriend, <laughs> and it's this summer she decides I'm going to Caribbean like, with is the she, girls. Is she, is she, is she, she says, African I, or is she I, Caribbean? She's African. She's from your village. She's yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She knows. She knows it's wrong. So, so if she, she wants to wrong. go, she says, she says, okay, I'll keep to myself. You're fine with that. If she says that and she yes. does that, yeah. Okay, so if she says, okay, I want to embrace myself in the culture. I want to dance. I want to do that stuff. My chest what is burning, I'm telling you, bro. So I need, I need some context from a Nigerian cultural perspective. We don't perspective. do that. But what, like, so you said it's wrong. So I want to understand what about it is wrong. It's, okay, essentially, because it's, it's, hard, it's hard to explain it because in your culture, it's just dancing. Yeah. Okay. We and see it the same as kissing. That's the something. best way I can say it. So if, if your guy went out to the club and kissed a girl, mm -hmm. however you feel is how it works for us like doing that kind of a dance that is that's is hectic so is that any <coughs> form of dance no 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 but that like, i'm saying how like whining, whining. Is, you can do the same thing about salsa dancing that's very intimate no no i know but this is my, this is my point i'm just trying to explain it to you in a way that you will understand how we see it we see it the same as if you were to go out and to kiss a guy that's how we see it as in like the whole whining it's obviously culture has now changed because it's i'm going to challenge you how? I'm going to challenge you on the, on the, it's the style of dance is what you have an issue with. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what the core issue is here. Yeah. Because if it's salsa dancing, you are still very intertwined. That's what I'm saying. You're still whatever. And you're saying, yeah, I'd have a problem with it, but you also wouldn't because in modern day society, salsa <coughs> is not sexualized. Yeah. Right? It's not. No, no, I said I have a problem with whining. I didn't say anything about salsa. This is, but this is yeah, my problem. So that's what I'm point. saying is that, like, I could go and dance with somebody right now, salsa, and yeah. I'm in it with them. Yeah. I, I'm learning tarosho right now, and it is like, mm. No, see. Okay? 
I know. I'm, I'm just saying the cultural difference. Like per, me personally, I understand these things, right? I understand what like different dancers are. Mm-hmm. That's why when he's asking, like if she if she is Caribbean and she goes to these, I know Your in her culture, so huh? Your chest is so you just burning. don't want your woman. No, close see, to no, 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 no. I'm trying to explain Your to you. Just, no, I'm trying to explain to you why my chest would burn. It's yeah. a it's a big cultural thing. Yeah. In our culture, it is. Is seen almost equivalent to that, and this is only speaking generally because now cultures have started to like Sweet. dilute and mm-hmm. all of that. But I'm saying generally, as an African whining on a girl, that is almost a heinous crime. That's all. Like I'm not saying that that's like you know that's the uh, rule. I'm just saying it, that's how that's how we see it. Right? I'm just explaining to you the, the cultural difference because I, I'm aware that. Also? Mm-hmm. Is that how you see it? Also? Yes. Oh, oh, that's fair. Uh, bro, I, so I'm like, this nigga's capping, bro, because I'm not even saying, oh, my, my nigga, no. Capping is like, no. What am I about? No, before when you're like, oh, like, oh, it's fine. I'm like, bro, it ain't it's, fine. See, it's just true. What can I do? That's how I'm So, so doctor, doctor, that's why, that's doctor, why she was flip the roles, flip the roles. So you're dating a Jamaican girl. That's what I said. So say she's getting bent over and then, uh, uh, you know. That, yeah. I said my chest is burning, but yeah, I know but that, is that she... one you allow it then, right? <laughs> she see, I don't know that culture. <clears throat> my chest is burning regardless. But from what I understand of you, from what you guys are saying, she doesn't see anything wrong with that. Yeah. Okay, so you allow it. I have to respect then. that. You allow it then. I have to respect but it. Wait, wait. She, what to do? No, she told me. The thing is, like the thing is, like, I can tell her. Look, <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this. Politician. If she goes on and does it. Bro, I, I can't do anything about it. You can, you can dump her. <laughs> well, yeah. But, but, she's she's not person. but do you guys know where... But why, why are you going to dump her, though? What do you mean? Why are you not going to dump her? No, you, why are you, you going to dump her? No, no I said it. I didn't say that. No, no, because, but you never admit when I kept saying, will you allow it, though? You never asked I said, it. I have to. No, you said I have to respect it. I have to respect it. I, I said, have to respect you it, which is allowing it, it, is it not? Yeah. Yeah, it's allowing it. you stay in a relationship with her. Bro, yes. Okay. Guys, see the thing is, look, the thing is, the thing is, look. No, the, the thing is, like, no, 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 no. So there's certain things Jamaican girls can do, but Nigerian girls can't. Bro, it's guy. I'm, it's I'm, I'm explaining to you. Look, in the culture. if you if you understand someone and you understand the reasons for their action, it's better than just doing uh, reacting off their actions, mm-hmm. right? If I understand, that- if I under, because the thing is, this is this is where the compromise is. If I explain to her, I'm not comfortable with this, right? She has to understand I'm not comfortable with it and not do it. Mm-hmm. But if we then go on That's and she it. tells me that this is literally nothing, as you have to understand my culture and I choose to stay with her. When she then does it, I have to understand that that's what I've chosen. But I've so chosen to understand you're her culture. saying that if you date a Nigerian girl, she's not allowed to br- embrace herself into other cultures. No, 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 I'm not saying that she's not allowed to. I'm saying that she knows that that is wrong. So it, it comes from values. <laughs> This is a I'm not, no, no, sure. I'm not, I'm not lying. She, she knows what she, this thing is talking about. No, 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 no. I understand. You don't understand. No, you, you said, look, you said a Nigerian girl, a Nigerian girl that has the same value, that sees whining as a problem, the same problem that I have a problem with, she sees it the same you and then she wants to go and dance. Embrace the guy, what kind West of embrace is that, bro? It's not your culture. Not what? So you can't embrace culture doing. that's not yours? Bro, Look, come I'm on. gonna dance salsa. That's what that's, that's what I'm sorry now, nah, bro. What do you you just you're agreeing with me? Me? Yes, you <laughs> no, we're saying the same thing. You're on your own, you're on no, your own. No, I didn't no, agree with you. No, no, we're saying the same things when it comes when it comes to the Nigerian girl, we're saying the same things. <laughs> this guy said, wait, you're I, agreeing I with me. I think this is what it boils down to, guys, right? It's what you said at the beginning. That's what I agree I with. I think it's, this is what it boils down to. You think like full bent over, like slow whining, let's go home. Like what will happen to Doxy's Jamaican girl? This nigga, bro. Yeah, it's taking a while. Nah, bro. When you're asking these questions, right, mm-hmm. you're only looking for one answer. When, I, when I'm answering, when I'm giving, when I'm giving you the actual but answer, I ask you multiple questions. Yeah, but you're only looking for one answer. That's why you keep on asking different questions to get at the one answer that you want. Because I've, I've, I've answered every single question. Which is them? I've answered every single question, but you mm-hmm. just don't like the answer. That's not true. Yes, it is because you had to ask me different I'm just questions. To get I keep to on see what your point of view is on this. And I keep, okay, on, I keep okay. on telling you the same. See, my point of view is that there, there has to be compromise. If there are different cultures, there has to be compromise. Look, you're not listening. This is the thing. There has to be compromise. If, if I'm in a relationship with a Nigerian girl, mm-hmm. we both share the same traditions, the same mm-hmm. culture, mm-hmm. and she tells me she's going to whine. She's stupid. <laughs> so, so. What? No. 
Because we both know no, that no, is no. wrong. It's like now, yeah. if we both no, know no. that you see, I've I've explained it to you in the terms of in our, in our culture, and this is loosely speaking, in our yeah. culture, whining is equivalent to kissing. Yeah. Just for the definition, right for, now. For, for, so this is just your opinion. Your opinion. Could I could I ask them to just to see, Emil? <laughs> is that the equivalent? I'm just saying that it's more of a personal level, not the culture. Maybe it's okay. using the culture as as a general way of escaping. It's a personal level. Okay. What, bro? He says he thinks it's a personal thing. It's not, it's not the culture. Because even if you have a, bro, you know, Emil, if your girl is whining with another guy, are you happy? Even if it's Jamaican or Nigerian, I'm not happy. Right? This is That's my point. Yo, you, bro, with the same He's culture. Not the Where's culture. Isaac? Isaac is fine. But are, you, are you fine with your girl whining with another guy? No, he's not. Be, be honest. Whoa, are you no, gonna be, be, be honest. honest. Are you gonna be honest. honest. Okay. Isaac, 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 be honest. Go ahead. As the other trainee in the room, keep it a buck fifty. What is your perspective? Keep well, it a listen, I didn't grow up there. So. Bro, but you're still in that dream, man. man. Stop it. Because now, now you're doing politicians. <laughs> I'm trying to give you. I'm getting drunk. Are you? Okay, of course. Yeah, I'll be yeah. okay. You're fine. Yeah. And why, why is that? Because your culture. culture. Exactly. Now, when I'm explaining you to you. Yeah. All right. When I'm, explain, when I'm explaining to you, look. <laughs> when I'm explaining to you, as a Nigerian, if I'm with a Nigerian girl, right, and she tells me. Oh. If yeah, I'm with. Is, is it dead? Yeah. Um, pick the batteries over there. So get the battery and then put it into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tech, look, look, if I'm with a Nigerian girl, yeah. right, and we both know <laughs> that this is wrong, if we both know that this is wrong and you go and do it, there's no, there's, there's no, you can't tell me, oh, I'm embracing the culture. That doesn't make sense. Wait, what? This, this is what I'm going to say. The whole basis of this discussion is value conflict. Yeah. that's all it is at the end of the day the values of like what it means to be in a relationship and respect your partner through this type of dance but like if you really look at the tradition of culture and of sorry of carnival and why it started it was as a rebellion towards oppression from from our slave owners mm. right it started because we couldn't attend the masquerade balls that were happening unless we were house slaves. And so the slaves in the back actually started putting on their own festivities in the back to mock their owners. Yeah. Right? What it has become when we talk about Pretty Carnival, which we are more familiar with, right, has become very commercialized. But that is not the origin of it. It was a celebration even in the midst of oppression. And so if you really go back to why we celebrate Carnival and why we do this and why we wind up, it's about freedom. Yeah, like, okay, look. An expression. So, yeah. so nah, I'm going to defend my culture. So, no. No, I'm, I'm, no, no I'm, I'm with you. I'm with your culture. This, this, no, this, this, is, this, is, this is why, no, this is, this is why I'm trying to explain it because when I'm trying to explain it and then they're laughing, they're not listening. No, no, no. They're not, I hear they're not you. understanding what I'm trying to say because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going against the culture. You're asking me, you're asking me, look, look you're asking me two different questions. If I have a Nigerian girl compared yeah. to, I just told you, if I have a Jamaican girl, I understand her culture. Yeah. If, she t- if we if we sit down and we discuss and we have this argument and I tell you I'm not okay with this yeah and then you then stand she by needs to respect it no there, there's there's two ways it's, I, it's either she respects I don't want her to do it or I have to respect her culture too there are two ways you go about it I think you can meet in the middle or like he was saying like mm-hmm. we can't we can't work because that no, this, no, I just don't fall this, in line with no, that. this is, see yeah. this is this is my this is my point if I'm staying if I choose to stay in the if relationship. But th- look, it doesn't matter. No, I'm Sorry. saying no. You're saying I'm I'm with. You're telling me. You're, you're telling me I'm with this girl. Yeah. If I am going to be with this girl, there what one or two things have had to have happened. Yeah. I have either I have agreed to her culture. Yeah. Or she's agreed to my culture. Yeah. If we are together. Yeah. What's what's going on? Fuck, man. So does Doxa speak for all Nigerian culture? What's going? On? Just a person. Because Emil disagree. Emil, Emil, stop. I, 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 I Compared to the two of you that have grown up in a Canadian Westernized culture, you grew up in Nigeria. How Niger? How how associated with you are, are you with your culture? Because from what I know of you, you're not you're not totally Nigerian. 
you're more so clean in that. Talk about it every day. Yeah. That doesn't mean he's not. Well, like, I'm not agreeing with that. Like, what you're doing, you're you keep bringing culture in. No, like, see, I I, look, I said I said I'm speaking I'm speaking from a, a journalistic point of view. Most Nigerians are not happy. This is not our co- how many yes. how many festivals do we have no. that we're, we're we're bouncing on each other? Yeah, no, no, wait, wait, it's my point. No, 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 it's my that, point. When you say that, right? What contradicts your statements when you say if you tell her you don't feel like you're not liking it, right? And she says, "I'm still gonna do it," and then you want to bend your will and say, "Okay, I understand it's your culture." That's, yeah. what, that's, that's what what's saying. Yeah. So, like, since you know it's no, our, but, no, since you know it's our culture, like that's not part of us, right? That's what we do is like a. But when he was, right? but his yeah, but caveat, like, hold on, I got this. But his caveat, mm-hmm. right, was that like, okay, if she's Nigerian and you guys both know the culture yeah. and what the expectations are, quite frankly, right, then that's unacceptable, right? Now, if this person happens to be from a different culture, right, mm-hmm. like let's say i'm dating a nigerian guy you know that like this is my culture i'm embracing parts of yours you can embrace parts of mine you could come to caravan and i could wind up on you right yeah. but like in terms of no i'm not comfortable well then you need to be there that's how i but feel that's, about that's it. such a like a old way of the think of things like no, no this, because, is, because, no, this because, is this oh, is just going, because this isn't my culture i can't go and do something else that's this is this is wait this is this is going away fair. this is going away from the, the question that's asked you've, you've asked me You've yeah, asked me, Isaac. You've asked me a question where you're asking yeah. me. I am in a relationship with someone, right? Mm-hmm. If I am in that relationship, two things would have happened. In order to be in that relationship, we have to have had a compromise somewhere. Mm-hmm. If I'm with someone that's of a different culture, mm-hmm. the two occasions that could have happened is that she either compromised to my culture mm-hmm. where she doesn't do it, mm-hmm. or she's I've compromised to her culture where I have to allow her to do it. If I'm in that relationship, because you've asked me if my girlfriend, girlfriend meaning I'm in a relationship, okay. right? Mm-hmm. If in that context, I'm in that relationship, I have compromised somewhere. If it's a compromise where she's come to my side, she knows she's disrespecting me. Yeah. yeah. Whereas if it's a compromise where I've gone to her side, I have to allow it. So, so it's just like the reason why I was saying it's a narrow minded way of thinking is just because, just because of the fact that this, this is whole thing is based on your culture and not able to meet her in the middle somewhere just because you're so you're so yeah, but, yeah, but, okay what, what's what's see the middle is where because there's 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 never gonna be a middle of this how oh, do you how do you what, half wine just one cheek no the, the, like, the no, no, middle no. is in how you dance with somebody yeah but this is this is what this is what i'm saying so the middle the middle will come in the compromise so it's either she comes on my side where she doesn't do it right we've met in the middle okay, somewhere or I've met in the middle where I've, I've, You're I've allowing it. yeah, See, I've, I'm allowing like you're it. You're kind of part of the problem. Like oh, I have what? a lot of friends that talk about their parents being so stuck in their. I just told you I'm going to come to her culture. How am I part of the problem? No, no, I'm talking about if you're dating a Nigerian girl and she wants to break out of that. I feel like you're a part of the problem because you know how we'll have. I have a lot of Nigerian friends that will talk about their parents how they're so stuck back in the old Nigerian ways and they won't come to the new view of things. And I just feel like you're kind of in that too. Okay, how is how is see uh, how is are we are we living in Jamaica? Are we living in the in the culture where mm-hmm. that is the culture okay, of but our? No longer living in Nigeria. Are we so okay? Are, are we are we live, are we living in England? If we're living if we if, oh, are we living in Canada? If we're living in Canada as a, as a Canadian society, <laughs> wait wait no, as a Canadian society is that part of their culture? It no, it's part of the West Indies culture. Mm-hmm. It's not part of the Canadian culture. If we're living in Jamaica, I've I've decided to move from my homeland to a Jamaican land, aka I have to adopt their culture. That's a different question. But you can't tell me I'm part of the problem. I've just told you I'm going to compromise. What the hell? No, the yeah. thing is, at the end of the day, you and this is very much everything I know about you is that you are very much a traditional man, right? And there is nothing wrong with that, right? Mm-hmm. All that means is that you need to also find a traditional woman. Like that's all. Yeah. That no, no, is. I know, but. When he's saying I'm part of the problem, I c- but I'm, don't take offense. No, no, I'm, no, I have, no, 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 I'm taking offense to it because I've just told you I am willing to compromise in a situation where I have to. Yeah. 
Because you can't, okay, you can't tell me that we're, we are both in Nigeria, I've married a Nigerian girl, and then you're going to tell me, oh, I'm going to go to the club in Nigeria and wind up on a guy because I want to embrace the Jamaican culture. What the hell? <laughs> what okay. the, come on, like, I said, okay, does that make you're sense? Bringing up, you're bringing up scenarios where that would make no sense. You're, no, you this, are this, a Nigerian yeah, person no, but, that's living in Canada. You and okay, is that, is that is that part is that is that part of the Canadian culture? Well, why are you making up scenarios They're saying, so oh, if we go back to Nigeria? She no, no, okay, no, no. Let, let's talk. Let's talk about Nigeria. let's talk about your scenario now. You okay. said we're in Canada. Yes. Is that part of the Canadian culture? As a Nigerian girl, is, as both Nigerians coming yes, to Canada, you're naming places where you know that would not be okay. That's why I said if I was having if I moved to Jamaica, I told you if I moved mm-hmm. to Jamaica, I have to adopt that culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't what have a problem exactly there. I bring up. I said kids that come here with their parents who are still so stuck on their idealistic views of Nigeria back in the day and they're bringing that over here. I yeah, said, but you, you, you've told you're told me the exact you've, same no, thing. No, no, no. You've told me I'm part of the problem. Yes. I right? Do. And I've told you, if I was in a scenario where I had to adopt that culture, I will. I'm in Canada. That is not part of the Canadian culture. She's, Why do she's, we care about it? Huh? They're bringing that culture over here. It's, but it's, that, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a Caribbean culture culture but it's the same way let's let's talk about food for a second right let's take this off of whining and off of bubbling and off of all that right yeah. and let's take it to food right there is a suya truck posted somewhere right because i love some nigerian food okay yeah. <laughs> i love to eat so let's say there's a suya truck or you know there's some eba and pounded yam or whatever and i'm coming over here to eat and this is what we're eating i am involving myself in culture right Mm -hmm. i'm having an experience right let's say you're like i eat pork and i'm like well i don't eat pork okay all these are our values and beliefs Mm -hmm. that's all that we're talking about there that's all that it keeps going back down to is what is your values your beliefs Mm -hmm. your upbringing and how does that influence how you move and operate and the decisions that you make and there is nothing wrong with being a traditional man like when we go back to kevin samuels and what he talks about it's about being like this high value man and being a modern woman and modern women enjoy certain things but want a traditional man mm. yeah that was his whole premise of his mm-hmm. whole thing yeah. Yeah, I know. right yeah. so when we look at this in terms of culture a lot of times we want the the cultures that remind us of our parents and of where we came from and all of those things but we have to recognize that when we move to different places you have to assimilate sometimes. My parents came here 52 years ago. The things that flew in Trinidad don't fly here. So there's an element of stripping your culture and parts of it for you to assimilate. Think about people that you maybe went to school with that wore their hijabs, for example, or something like that when they first came. And then as they get more indoctrinated into the culture of Canada, they're like, some wear it still some don't wear it anymore right because they are figuring out what's right for themselves the baseline of this whole conversation is if you think whining is bad don't be with somebody who wants to whine up on everybody if you want to whine and you don't mind all that then be with somebody who enjoys that and go out and do that with that person there is no right or wrong here it's what's right or wrong for you and for that relationship that bottom line Amen. Right. But, and and to your mm-hmm. point, my, I'll mic drop here. My at the bottom line is like if you can't get on board with what that person is about, like I can't be with somebody who doesn't allow me to express myself through dance. Yeah. I don't care what form of dance, because if I wanted to make it sexual, I could. Mm-hmm. And if I don't want to make it sexual, I also can do that. Mm-hmm. I can't control what the other person is doing on the other side of that. Right. And I'm going to be very candid here. I've danced with guys who pop while you're dancing. I'm not doing anything crazy. And it's like, okay. All right. Let, like, mm-hmm. awkward, right? As a woman, we don't have that tell. Yeah. But a man does, right? I, okay, we we're, we're having a good time. It doesn't mean anything. Whatever. I wasn't trying to arouse you. I wasn't trying to do anything. But I understand that these things are possible because we're humans. Mm. And we are sexual beings. Mm -hmm. But if I am like, I could dance in front of somebody and keep it fun and having a good time with you, that's my way of respecting. If I don't feel comfortable with you, I will never dance with a man that I don't feel will respect me. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So the baseline here is if it's not right for you or you guys can't get on the same board, you don't have to allow it. You can but you don't have to allow yeah. it. You can say this doesn't work for me because we're having a value conflict that we will never get on the same page with. 
It's just like raising kids, right? Yeah. Oh, I want to spank my kid. I don't want to spank my kid. Are you going to be like, well, I, I'm gonna, we're going to half slap the child? <laughs> no. Or sometimes we're going to slap them. No. Yeah. You need to be with somebody who you understand. Yeah. And I'm in that relationship, right? I'm in that relationship where one person believes in spanking and the other person doesn't. And I'm like, you know, okay, well, what do you do with that? Either yeah. we're going to be in the compromise of mm-hmm. what? Hmm? Oh, he said the last Hey, whatever. Like, hmm? whatever. Whatever. You're going to get the bell. You're going to get whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that comes from experience. Like I said, one of us was whooped growing up and one of us was not. So it boils down to experiences. If you see it as a sign of disrespect, like it probably is. So just don't be with somebody who's going to disrespect you and put you in a position to even have to have that conversation. Yeah. Once you're in that relationship as well, if you've chosen to be there, mm-hmm. you've chosen to compromise. Correct. That no, that's that was my whole yeah premise. I understand. But why why I why I got irate was because you're now taking my whole premise and throwing it. You're painting with a brush that doesn't need. It, you're you're making me seem as though. I am something else that I'm not. When I've just told, I've just told you, I am willing to compromise if the situation has it. Yeah. If it, if it's a, if it's at the beginning and you're telling me something straight up, you ask me my opinion and I'm telling you, but you can't tell me I'm part of the problem when I am in a culture where I've had to simulate. <laughs> I've, I've, you, you see, you, you see me with a different accent. You see me do, and even say back to my language. You see me say things that a Nigerian is not going to say. I've assimilated. I can't. You can't. I, you can't tell me that I'm a, I'm a problem. And, I, I, all, and, and the thing is, like, when 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 you say I'm a problem, you're saying you're telling me that I completely disagree with a whole, with a lot of things that come with the whole culture. When it's just one conversation, and and it's just one little topic. If I tell you I don't want you to whine, that's not the end of the world. That's yes, not the end of the world. It's for you, yeah. Chai. Well, we can't be together. together. (laughs) But it is is what it is, right? Like, and I love that. Literally, we have two Nigerians and two Chinese here today, right? Like, and like we're both born here, Mm. right? But we embrace our culture, and and I think that, like I said, there is a way to be disrespectful with your wine, and there is a way to not be disrespectful Mm. with your wine, and I I think it depends. And that is an internal thing. Like, if I was recorded doing this and my partner saw, Mm -hmm. would I be okay? So now this boils down to, like, if you know you're doing something wrong, or if you're like, nah, I was was keeping it tight. I was was good. Yeah, but how do you explain to him something that he's feeling? I mean, if he feels that, again, it boils down to the conversation. And I might say, like, well, then I really need to, you to make sure that you come to these things with me. Because for me, it's less about the dancing and more about the environment. Like, I love soca music. I love Calypso. I love Pan. I love all of those things. So I want to be around that. And this is how we dance to this. So if you don't want me doing that with somebody else, then you need to be there with me. Jesus. <laughs> and you, you better love it and know all the songs and know how to whine to them and know how to do it. Yeah. Because don't bring me to an environment where I want to let loose and you can't whine. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yep. So if that happens, mm-hmm. let's say you guys go and he doesn't Sneak. know yet and you want to have fun. Yeah. And he's there. So what are you going to do? Teach you going to go teach him. So there's, there. this is literally my scenario, <laughs> right? But the thing was, we met in the club, right? So you saw me as a dancer, like you saw me doing all of these things before you ever approached me. So you knew what I was like. When we lived here, we would go to the club together. He's the type, he's very observant. So he'll be posted on the wall or he'll sit down. He's always watching what's happening. He's not a big dancer, right? But as we have been in our relationship, he has started to listen to the music. Mm. He's actually fallen in love with Afrobeats, which he hated in the beginning. <laughs> we would go to Red Sea and he would be like, I can't stand this. Yeah. Now he knows more Afrobeats than I do. <laughs> right? Yeah, um, so, he- <laughs> listen, be easy, okay? And then, <laughs> and then um, 
So he has started doing that. We have to start doing this at home, mm-hmm. right? We got to put it on. So when I'm cleaning, when I'm doing whatever, I'm playing it so that you are around it. My son is almost a year old. We have a whining party every morning because you are going to make sure that you know how to dance. <laughs> you can't be a Trini man and you can't whine. Uh, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't whine. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. You can't whine. She, 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 she. I have the best way son here. Oh, I hope wow. so. Oh, oh not the best way. Oh, man, are you going to take this? I hope, I hope I, so, man. After your sausage yeah. Sundays I, antics? I hope so. That's how I'm going to tell the Lord. Oh my God. That's because he's doing it on the shadows. That's why. Not allowed to do that? Huh? Your culture is not allowed to do that, though. I'm assimilating. <laughs> <laughs> but right, no, it, you good. know what? You have to teach. You have to teach. You have mm. to make it fun. Um, or you have to find your ways with your partner to be able to do it. Like, mm. I had to have the conversation. We went to a fet here, and I didn't get to be me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. That's what I wasn't understanding you guys' main argument on culture because, like, you tie down it's also personal. Yeah. Like, when you were really, like, arguing about culture, but, like, it doesn't... Well, the culture, it, like, affects, but it's also personal, like, talking It's both layers. It's both layers. Yeah. There's culturally what you believe because we are brought up in, in a certain way. Of course. And then there's me as an individual. What are my beliefs? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what are my preferences? That's the thing. Like, yeah. When you guys were together, right, like you said in the beginning, he wasn't... He was in the wall, like a wall sit or whatever. Yeah. Right? And you made your personal decision also the cultural impact that you're a dancer. Yes. You like dancing. Yes. And you impose that. And he learned and made a personal decision to learn about the culture. Right. So it goes. And the also. Isn't the big view. And also figuring out like Kazomba, for example, mm-hmm. that's like it's slower. It's about steps. It's about it's not just about your rhythm. So I said to him, why don't we take some classes together? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, because I love dance. It's not necessarily about the style of dance. It's about movement Mm. and something that I enjoy. Just like working out. Like, somebody might be like, no, I want to be 300 pounds. I don't want to go to the gym with you. Or like, listen. Leave her alone, Doc. What's wrong with you? What you're doing. But, like, when you say that, you yeah. know how to control the my wine. emotion and the yes. wine, right? Yep. Like, you might want to dance for five seconds. And when you said, like, the canon thing, like, rent, like, physical, because yeah, you can rent, yeah, 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 I'm at the pubs, right? Mm-hmm. If, like, you knew you were just doing, it, like, a fun dance, right? Yeah. But if a guy that, like you said, yeah, whatever, right, that's not a dancer, he doesn't know the most of the dancing, right, saw that scenario happen. Yeah. And, like, he said a personal reaction like when he said ask you how would you tell a guy like yeah. whatever to feel right he saw the guy do his thing whatever yeah. right he's gonna like click like, oh so he's not gonna listen that he's not having the same emotion that you have absolutely like, that, that's, yeah. it goes back to what you said is communication mm-hmm. yeah. Sorry, yeah because if for, for example as you, as you said in, in your relationship you air out your thoughts and that's where you're you, head, you butt heads right mm-hmm. but the problems that we have is that a lot of guys are gonna, you know, see that, harbor the anger, mm-hmm. and then project it rather than tell her, "Look, I'm pissed at so so and so," and then she explain back, mm-hmm. "This is my culture," yeah. kind of thing. And even it, talking, so yeah, yeah, kind of. And even a prime example. Now that I'm thinking about it, when I was in Trinidad, I went out to a, a, a boat fet with my cousins, her and her fiance. And I, I love it. You get on the boat, you bring your cooler with all your liquor, there's a DJ, like it's dope, whatever, right? And um, she was whining hard on this dude. And, you know, my cousin's fiance is very, like, much more reserved, whatever. So he's kind of doing his thing, whatever. But he, but was he there. got upset, yeah. But he got upset, right? And he, but all he said to her was, like, just tone it down a little. Mm-hmm. It wasn't about her dancing with him. It was just like tone it down, like, like easy. Yeah. yeah, You know what I mean? You don't know how to throw it back so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And, I, have, I have a question yeah. for your like for the thing, the dancing. Do you have to dance with someone else? No. Is it part of it? No. no. So I guess there is a middle ground. Then. If if you get to go with her, will your chest still be burning? Huh? If you get to be the guy, so but the listen to this in oh, no, 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 because we we have sex together. So like I'm not saying that's that's what I'm saying. Oh, no, you don't. Know. But but here it huh? is in Carabana, the culture is you could be chipping. That's what it's called. You're you're chipping down the road. You're you're whining, dancing mm-hmm. by yourself. Okay, you're chipping. 
any man could see you and want to dance with and you. want to come up and whine on you. Mm. It's your job as the woman to be like, no, I'm good, thanks, yeah. right? But the what is almost expected in that environment is that we're going to bust a little wine and we're going to keep it moving. Yeah. Right? So you don't have to dance long. And yeah. if you really ever watch like videos of caravan and stuff like that, it's like boom, boom, boom. On yeah, the it's, it's, it's like, sharp, yeah, it's sharp, sharp. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, it's not like, man, we stayed for hours in the corner, <laughs> slow whining and whatever, and like right, no? building it all up and whatever. <laughs> what are you guys talking never, about? Never, right, never, never get going. Um, like, my like, friend, you went to what, caravan. Um, yeah. I didn't go though. Mm? Yeah. You went to caravan? Yes, I did. Okay, so what what, what was your thoughts as a Nigerian? Man, like, what were your thoughts? I'm thinking as a Nigerian man. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of what? Just whatever your opinion was of it. Um, would you say you assimilated? <laughs> I would say, I would say, like, like I would. Um, how do I explain this? Like, obviously, it wasn't something I was used to, like seeing that. Yeah. But I like when you explain, like, you, it's like a cultural thing. Like, you, like, I, I definitely understand where you're coming from. Where you were like. Oh, like it's just a dance, like from your perspective and from like how you got like your culture and everything. Mm -hmm. um, for me, obviously, I would say I would only have an issue with it if I was in a relationship. So realistically, like just holding on to like who I am and how I would feel about it, mm -hmm. I would have an issue with it. Yeah. But that's just me. Fair. You know what I'm saying? I do understand like from a cultural perspective, um, and that's where I was like, you know, where I kind of got confused what you and Docs were saying. Um, but like I said, I think <clears throat> a lot of the things would come down to having those conversations beforehand, whether you're with someone from a different culture or not. Or not, yeah. Right? If that person, if you guys don't agree, okay if you guys don't agree, that's fine. Just go your separate ways yeah. and find somebody that, you know, agrees to the things that, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's just my opinion, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I think the big, like, the big overarching thing here with relationships, though, is you are going to have your two separate people. 100%. You're going to have a million things that you're going to disagree on. Yep. And you're going to have a million things that you will agree on. Yep. And you have to choose which ones are the deal breakers. Yeah. Yeah. And if your deal breakers line up, mm -hmm. right, or if your deal breakers are on opposite ends, I mean, then, okay, maybe this won't work. Yeah. You could be a really good person, but, like, you know, man, let's say one person's, like, a massive spender. Like, every cent that comes in, like, it's always going out. You'd be like, I'm not willing to go into debt for you. Mm -hmm. Like, that that doesn't work for me. So yeah. you might say that's not the right person for me because yeah. they aren't you know, financially responsible, yeah. right? And I understand the implications of this long term. At the end of the day, we all have decisions to make, Yep. you know, and it's what we value. Yep. If I value your jokes over the fact that you might dance with somebody because you really make me happy and I had a shitty upbringing mm -hmm. and whatever, okay. Yep. And that's where you're talking about the compromise. The compromise. Yep. Um, but to your question, like, no, you could dance by yourself, but we can't control it as women. I can't control who comes up and dances on me. I could want to be on my best behavior, but somebody saw my bumper, they thought it was nice and they want to line on it. I can't do anything about that except for be like, no, right? And the same thing, like as a dude in the case that you're bringing up. Ah, uh, you can control yourself. He can control himself, <laughs> but the difference is if women were coming up and whining oh, on come him, up, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. then he kind of has to be the one who says, hey, like, I'm good, whatever, I'm just here for the vibe and yeah, keep yeah. it moving, which most men probably won't do. <laughs> I mean, what country, Iba, yeah, yeah. in, do you know, the funny thing is when it comes to twerking, right, this is what I only observed recently. When I'm, in, in, because my culture is very similar to the Igbo tribe as well, right? I'm uh, sorry, my tribe is very similar to the Igbo tribe. The women, that's their dance. They shake their ass. Like, it's just the Yeah, they, 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 no, no, but they, this happens with girls, right? Mm -hmm. They, they shake their ass and they just dance over there. But coming here, I don't know why, but I only, I only clocked onto it. There was ones where I told my mom, I, I, um, I think it was my graduation or something. She started dancing like our cultural dance. And then in my head, I'm like, this is all oh, this is regular dancing. But then, like two minutes later, I was watching a music video, and it just it looked different, but it's exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like that is that whole cultural mindset. It's like here, it's very sexualized. It's a peril because like when you're in like um, weddings and stuff, right? The music is playing. The women, they dance, but like they're in their traditional gown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm, nah, I know what you guys are saying now. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like there's a different. Even in Nigeria, like, they have their apparel on. Oh, oh shit. shit. 
You good? Yeah, car, car. Mm-hmm. So like it's more like the <laughs> different setting, like the apparel. <laughs> 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 uh, I know, the way everyone held in their lap. That was a wipeout. That was bad. <laughs> you killed off though. Are you yeah, good? Yeah, so like it's more the yeah. apparel and like the setting and stuff. Yeah. Because if again, if you go to any Nigerian wedding, the old the grandmas, everyone. Yeah, everyone's here. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's no. That's why I was telling you. Yeah. There's like no like. So this is bringing up the discussion of the sexualization of a exactly. black American or like Western woman. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. 100%. Right? Yeah. So when we think about like BET and what BET was back in the day, and that's where we really started to see it. We started yeah. to see, like, I'm, I can be really honest in saying I, I went to like a French, predominantly white school. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't see girls that were like, thick like me I didn't see like I remember being grade six and we had a lock-in and it was a dance and like this guy came up to me and he was like why are you dancing like that Mm -hmm. but that was normal for me right this is how my body interprets the music I I don't know Mm -hmm. and so watching BET was actually the first time that I felt comfortable as a black woman because I got to see women that looked like me and like I was like that this is interesting but then it's the over-sexualization of our bodies in the mm. way that, like, we're very skimpy. We're always shaking our asses. They then attach that to, like, drug dealers and, like, mm. big change. Yep. Like, there is media is telling a story for us that we are programming and then we bring it into certain things. Because when you see a white woman twerking, you're like, oh, look at this little white woman trying There's to twerk. Then, yeah, she does we don't have a problem with it. Mm. Right or the or it's like she's oh she's for the culture she's for us, would but you, we don't have a problem with that. And, would you and say this is not about race? This is about how we perceive. It's the same way that we perceive a black man walking across the street from us, and the woman is going to go hold her purse, right? Because she feels threatened just by the sign of a black man. Whereas if there's a black a white man who's committing like tax evasion. On the other side of the street, we're not worried about it because we have been programmed to see black skin yeah. in certain ways. Well, and go ahead, sure. sorry. And there's a, okay, let's let's bring it back to the call. Let's say you do the Nigerian one. Like, let's say you watch a Nigerian culture show in the wedding of like you said, you know, whatever doing like with twerk and whatever it's called, right? You see that. Then you see Caribana Caribana one. Mm-hmm. I personally there, don't have a problem with either. No, no, I'm not talking about not us. Like, let's say someone from the outside view seeing that. Yeah. Those two different, like, they're going to see a this Think difference. Yeah, this thing's different. So I get what you're saying about the sexual but like... No, but I think I think the different the difference will only come in, as you said, is the sexualization of it, which includes the clothing. Because... Mm-hmm. When I, cause I sat down and I, I watched the video and I paused it because I'm just like, this is, it was just a weird, like, because I, I overthink a lot. So mm. I was just, I was thinking through it. I was like, why is this, why does this look different, right? Mm. Firstly, obviously, she's wearing minimal clothing. And then I thought, okay, cool. Why is it, why does it seem different when I'm in church or I'm in a wedding or I'm at home and they're doing it? Why does it not seem different? Mm. And I thought about it and I was like, they're wearing like full on gowns. It's nothing revealing, nor is it anything that's like too, for lack of, for lack of better term, it's, it's, it's not too provocative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, even like, like segue into a different question, right? When it comes to provocative clothing, right? From your standpoint as an image consultant and also a woman, where is this whole boundary between is my style and you're actually showing too much. Ooh, I'm going to give you a word my mom gave me when I was 18 years old and first getting into the club scene. Um, and she just said, like, depending on what you're wearing, you're going to attract a certain type of attention. And so I think you have to be very cognizant as a woman of what you are putting on and what that will attract. And then again, your conduct behind it. Mm. Right? And this is not... You can wear whatever you want to wear. Just understand that you might get a certain type of attention. Like when I was in Trinidad and I was wearing like pum pum shorts or whatever. And like you're getting catcalled. I understand that. Versus if I was wearing something like this, they might, they're probably not saying anything. Right? 
So I think that there is a place and time for everything. Like at Caravana, yes, I will be in a little piece of, piece of thing. Yes, I will be. Right? Because that I have no problems with that. Right? But to go up and do a presentation like that, that's not really, when, uh, you know what I mean? Shorts. Like I just did a presentation <laughs> in like a little bralette and a blazer with my stomach out. And that was the first time I've ever dressed like that to present. But I didn't feel bad about it because for the most part, I was relatively clo- clothed and I carried myself very well. Would you, would you say... And this is only speaking generally because you can't speak for all women, but would you then say, going off of what you said, would you say that's the girls that say, the girls that basically say the opposite of what you're saying is ignorant. So when they're complaining about, I should be able to wear what I, what I want to wear and people shouldn't react a certain way, would you say that's ignorance then? No, I think that's, um, that's reality. You can wear what you want to wear. No, no, but then you're, because of what you're wearing, Mm-hmm. you are going to attract a certain type of attention. You just said that that's, you know no, that. That's going to happen. So mm-hmm. are you saying the girls that pretend as though that's that the oh. awareness and the understanding oh, yeah. that what you're I wearing is going to cause these effects, yeah. are you saying that that's ignorance then? We're, we're on a borderline touchy subject. No, I know. It's a very sensitive subject. I know the subject very well. Um, I'm not going to call it ignorance. I think that you can choose to be oblivious to the fact that wearing something might attract attention. Mm. You might say, I know how to carry myself. I know how to whatever. That doesn't mean you're inviting anything, Mm. right? I I really want to preface that here. You're not inviting anything. Um, You can equally get hit on or get approached being fully clothed. If somebody is attracted to you for good reasons or bad, they're going like that attraction is going to be there. Right. But I do think that over the years, I have come to understand it's more about how I feel comfortable putting myself out there as a woman and what conversations do I want people having about me. And because we go off of first impressions, right, you might see me in something very little or something that's very revealing, right? So I'm, I'm not going to call it ignorance. I think you need to know yourself as a woman. I, need you, I think you need to know what you are comfortable with. I think you need to understand that people are going to perceive you a certain way. If you are fully clothed, people are going to judge you. Yeah, of course. Right? If you're wearing like a Amish dress going out dancing, people are going to judge you. Like, why are you dressed like that? Right? That doesn't make you better because you're fully clothed. Mm. Right? And it doesn't make you worse because you have a little bit on. But what people are going to say, are you okay with what people are going to say? Yeah. And if you're not, then maybe you should dress a little bit of a different way. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. sense. You know, like I, I think I dress very, like very sexy, but most times I'm very clothed. And a lot of times men like a little bit of mystery. We don't need to see everything. We Mm. just need to see, they need to see a little silhouette, a little skin. They like that. Yeah. Mm. (laughs) The way niggas are looking at you. Oh, Timothy? Timothy. <laughs> oh, he said thank you. That's where the problem is. Like, a lot of people, like, you can't dress a certain way and expect me to, like, obviously, like, in my head, as a, I don't know, this is regular, this is just me. But, like, if you see head, Nyash, your, no, your body's no, gonna shake. In, in my head, there's a certain way, like, I look at a girl who's, like, who dressed. Who dresses decently? Like, I'll like I'll be more likely to maybe cuff that than like someone who's like. Ha. You're gonna go directly off that. Right. <laughs> okay, I get. I guess I get what you're saying. Like, more, but... I don't know why we're talking. Like most. No, from yeah, like, from from, from visual, 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 yeah, yeah from visually. The moment I see you dress a certain type of way, I'm like, okay, this is probably the type of person you are. Yeah. Obviously, that has nothing to do with who you are. I don't know you. But it but, does. Like, but it just, does. Yeah. You mm-hmm. automatically start disqualifying. Hundred percent. Yeah. So like. That just me though. That is no, the it's, not, it's not just you, right? It's a lot. It's a lot of us. That's the whole point of image, though. Yeah. Yeah. Your image gets to speak for you before you ever before speak. Before you say anything. Yeah. What do you want it to say? One hundred percent. Right. If you want it to say, "I'm out to have a good night." Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> put on something to say, "I'm out to have a good night." Right. If you want to say, "Listen, you can't get at me," dress in a way that says you can't get at me. <laughs> right. Even my boyfriend said to me, he said, listen, you're too friendly. Mm. 
And I'm like, but I'm nice. It's not a big deal. He's like, <laughs> you're letting everybody know that they can talk to you and they shouldn't be able to talk to you. Yeah. Says this this guy is older. Have you seen the male talk to a girl? Wow. He's wow. holding wow. her soul. You might as well say the last name. You oh, might as well say He's holding her soul. The like, lies in this. Don't, don't believe them. They're, they're lies. I they're they're lies. They're lies. <laughs> I didn't, have you seen this whole, I didn't say anything this no, whole episode, and you were putting on the deep, the deep, <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, so I actually have a, I have a question for you, so, you know, yeah. being a image consultant, right, would you say you're able to, like, um, you know, in terms of, like, men as well, like, what they wear, are you able to, like, make certain, or, like, the way, yeah. like, say, for example, us in the room, mm-hmm. right, were you able to make certain, um, do you want my true first impressions? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, a couple things, right? Um, and this starts with behavior, not yeah. actually your appearance. Mm. So it was being on time. Okay. Right. So I, that for me was like, oh, you're not serious. Mm-hmm. Right. Or you're talking I, about like your first impression. My first impression. Yeah, I asked you. I asked you. Yeah. I asked you. Yeah. 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 Right. Like, okay. We, I was told eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. I was here two minutes after that was late. Mm-hmm. Right. But you know, okay. So that's one. Mm-hmm. I'll leave it there. Whatever. Then like. As you can see, like from what I know about Doxa, Doxa is all about fashion and whatever. So I was like, I need to make sure I look on point, mm. right? Oh, fuck. Then everybody <laughs> walks in, and I'm like, Doxa, what is this, right? Like, what what are we doing? So I'm like, man, these I don't know what I just said yes to. That's that was my first impression. Mm. But then as we started having conversation, I was like, you guys are actually really smart, and I actually thoroughly am enjoying this conversation. But yeah, I could judge by saying like. Mm. It's the setting. Mm-hmm. It's what we're doing, mm-hmm. right? Now, if it was like, hey, this is real chill vibes, you probably should have told me. Mm-hmm. I still probably wouldn't have dressed down mm-hmm. because this is very Yeah, I see. I know you. That's why I... this is me. Yeah, right? exactly. I need to call you off. Good, but call I would have been... I wouldn't have been thrown off. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So I was like... I was expecting everybody to be in a fit. Like, mm-hmm. this is what we do. Blah, blah, blah. But it's all good. But the thing that I've loved so so much tonight is how rich the conversation is, how articulate you guys are, how much like you're willing to disagree with each other and challenge one another. Like this is what healthy conversation actually looks like. Mm-hmm. And so my impression now is like, man, like you guys are dope. Mm-hmm. Like this this was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This was amazing. So unfortunately, sometimes our behavior and our appearance mm-hmm. Because those are the first two things that people see can turn people off yep. very easily. And this is the whole point of like, be nice to somebody yeah, when you meet them, yeah. whether it's romantically or whatever, because you never know that yeah. person could be gold. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, like, and you guys are very smart. Like I'm thoroughly loving this. I was going to want to see this episode. I don't think I can share it, but <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> He's going to say, how did it go? I'm going to say, great. <laughs> right? Um, but th- this was this was fantastic. But those were my first impressions. Now, I might see you out in the street, and you might be fully done. And I'm like, yo, who's that? Mm. And that is the thing that when we put ourselves together, and when we walk like we're important, and we lock, walk like we are somebody, and we carry ourselves in that way, we make people take notice of us. They go, who is that? I'm the first person to start the dance floor so people see my bubbly personality, right? But how many people week after week are like, I'm so inspired by you. Hey, I follow you now. I see what you do, blah, blah, blah. Like, Mm. hey, can we talk? Hey, whatever. Like, oh, you're actually about something. You just don't come and dance all the time. Mm. No, I have a true career. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) You know? Um, And that's the thing why I think like both men and women, especially in our younger generation, need to take time to get to know people. And need to actually build connections. Not everything is about trying to even be in a relationship. Like, we can be friends. Mm-hmm. We can have relationships like that. You hear um, that, Isaac? Wow. Yeah. What are you talking about? Do we, you believe that? Go, 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 <laughs> defend yourself defend yourself defend yourself <laughs> <laughs> well sorry well my question mm-hmm. was do you believe that guys and girls can be friends yeah of course 
Why are they laughing? <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Because I, I 100%. You guys he don't know, he knows that. one of my closest well, friends is a girl. Really so. This is this is incredible. I agree. 100%. A whole year of this podding, and it's today everyone decides <laughs> to be on this side. Perspectives have changed. No, Honestly, right. that's crazy. I no, oh, I just wait, I think on, why he on. says that is because his relationship that he has with his wow. with the girls in his that's life, all. I thought it was a little bit weird. <laughs> so that's <laughs> well, not weird. I just thought like it was different. Okay, can I can I? Yeah, see what yeah, yeah, okay, so he it, told it, me that like he'll cuddle with them, okay. and I was like, okay, for me, I wouldn't do that with yes. my girl best friend. Like that's just. That's you know? crossing. I it's too intimate. Yeah. yeah. But then it now goes back to the whole the not 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 even to talk the about culture. culture it goes but then even it. like now the whole whining, you can see how we can have two very distinct, a yeah. yeah. um, very strong, different person uh, perspectives yeah. of yeah. something. Of you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like cuddling. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like cuddling. You in a room. You alone. You out here. Out, 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 out. I, I, well, what what's together? Doing that with someone you're saying that you're not intimate with or you don't want to be intimate with is just. It's, I, I don't so, believe it. I don't care. It's insane. Have, like, there has to be some there. Platonic. In a relationship or just regular? Just regular. Like, platonic friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sure. Obviously. But not like in a relationship. Because I'm thinking about from a guy's perspective. I know some guys might like. Is it? Almost every guy. A lot, a lot, a lot of guys. Look, a lot, a lot of guys can't be friends. Right. 100%. Yeah, a lot, a lot, look, look, a lot of guys yes. can't be friends so like, with a girl, a lot, and this is a lot of guys. But yeah. when when we always talk, it's we're always talking about personally. Yeah, like, on this point, like it's all personally, like, right? Like, obviously, a girl be like, "Oh, that we've been long friends. Like, I wouldn't let him or whatever." Right? But I'm talking about the guy. Like, if uh, yeah, if she ever, if she if she yeah. one day she says, "I need a shoulder to cry on." He's saying yes because he's always thinking of. I know this is this is the gen, like this is a this is why a lot of girls. Are cautious Wait, when it comes to being friends. Guy best friend is feeling that way. <laughs> that he's waiting for a chance. No, because what I don't like this. This is this is why this is why everyone loves Isaac. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac can fuck you up because of you. He twists your story very yeah, well. I'm seeing. But that. I'm strong. I'm see. I'm strong. My my story. Is, see, my story is the same. Look, I am very very different. A lot of times I don't mm-hmm. say different it. from the rest of these niggas. No, see, I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't like <laughs> you've heard that one before. I don't, I don't like saying it because of that. But yeah. then when people meet me, they know I'm a very different person. And yeah. I can do a lot of these things so that I can't do. And so is he. We're all different I, from I, the rest. You know, you know where I think guys and girls can be friends is where there's no attraction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you think if you're yeah, but there's, to, there's never gonna be no, uh, there's, there's, there's there's never gonna be a no attraction from. Have you ever seen a guy genuinely approach a girl just to be friends? You think you can't be friends no. with someone you're attracted happen. to? Absolutely not. Hmm. Something's gonna go down. I but can do you be honest, think, do you think I've never from, seen that. Do you think before. it's from both like both genders or you think it's just like predominantly the male where that that's like the case? Oh, both, gen- both, both genders. genders. Okay. Yeah, because like for example, right, women romanticize everything. Mm. Okay. So like, oh, he picked me up. Yeah. Oh, he like he pay- he opened the door for me because he was just being nice. He's he's holding my hand something. while he talks to me. So so right. some so, 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 so if you're <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> so so in your opinion yeah. for his situation when he's cuddling them, do you think they're romanticizing that? I am sure from the outside looking in. I am I am sure and they can come for me if they want to. There's some part inside, probably in both of them, that does like each other. Mad. Okay. May not act well, what's on your, it. What's your point? May not act on it. What's your point? But there is some point. <laughs> see, no, no, but I don't see. I can, if we're gonna speak about guys and girls, and we're speaking in general, I can, I can, I can definitely agree. With, if if another guy came to me and said the same thing, I'm saying to them. That's why I I never dispute when they're coming up because I I understand it's weird. I understand it's weird. <laughs> Even when I say the question, it, the, the question is weird though. Because what is what do you define friendship as? Because you can't have a Philosophy. Guy and girl friendship that you would have as a guy and guy friendship. Like, no, it's not. No, a girl. Never, 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 never be the same. But no, no, no friendship is the same. No friendship is the same. No relationship. I believe you can't. Like, you, what do you, define you, friendship you, can't, you can't. You can't really put those things in a box, right? They kind of like. It's because, like, my for example, my dynamic with Doxa is completely different than his dynamic with Doxa. Even if, like, even like gender wise, I feel like you can't really put a box on what. You call, you know. It's what no, you guys deem as. That's exactly what I'm saying. But, but there are certain 
things mm-hmm. that we do not do. Yeah. Like, like things. would I go and spoon my girl oh, best friend? Oh, 100%. I get what you're saying. Spooning is wild, dude. That's, 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 that's basically what you're doing. I'm, I said I'm cut. <laughs> no, no, no. I think you're spooning. No, spooning them. Well, you're spooning them. You're spooning them. So that one's wild. You're sitting here like this. Yes. That's what you're talking about. No, no, no. Because he he gave that exact example. And he said he'll have a problem with it. Now, do, in your case, do you understand what I mean? I can literally hold them like yeah, this. Yeah, but that's not cultural. That's just you. I didn't say, co- that didn't <laughs> say <laughs> culture. That didn't say, we, didn't, we didn't say culture. So, so for I me, said me, per- that's why I said I understand when you guys are saying it's weird. I'm not in close proximity with anybody like that that mm. is my friend as a male. I'm not. Mm. Oh, I, I understand that. Like, See, well, I understand. Would, but exactly, that's what, what friendship is. But you would cuddle with your shorties. I'm not cuddling with my Wait, wait, so that's I have a question. So say no, one no, point, one point. Like, mm. I wouldn't do that with them. I wouldn't do this that with like a, a man a male either. Friend, yeah. What I'm saying is that if I'm in close proximity with one man, mm. something's probably going down. Wait, so doctor, I have a question for you. So, other is it a leading question? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, cool. So, say you can you accept my answer? No. So man, say, so you're not gonna say, accept my answer? No, I didn't. I didn't even listen to what she said. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we but, go. Uh, so, so say uh, one of your girl best friends gets into a relationship. So, say out of respect for that guy, are you gonna tell that's her? It, that's I'm that's no exactly li- my answer. Okay, out of respect for that guy, are you gonna automatically tell her we can't cuddle anymore? Or are you gonna wait until she says See, uh, we shouldn't do this anymore? The, the cuddling thing is it's not like we just it's just we're, we're like planning on cuddling. Cuddle, yeah, we're not like oh oh someday we're cuddling. It's just like if you're in a relationship, I understand that this guy doesn't understand this. I understand. Mm. Look, so I, you'll I, be the one to stop it. And yes, because okay. look, even if it's happening, right. So you understand there's a level to, of intimacy with it. See, no, or else there'd be no I, reason to see, stop I it. See, I understand the different the perspectives yeah. of it. And not, not even different. I understand that my perspective of it is not normal. Yeah. So okay. I, I understand that the... So, sorry. Um, I understand that the dynamic between me and my friends is different to a lot of other guys and their friendships. Okay. That's, that's, that's why, like, for me, I don't have a problem with, like, if now, if now uh, like, one of my friends that's in a relationship... Like I don't, I'm not gonna just cuddle her because I don't know, I don't know what that guy assumes of me, and I'm not gonna put their relationship in any. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna Definitely. cause any problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, even though I know that I'm, I'm a peaceful guy, I'm not. I don't really care about your relationship like that. I'm not gonna make any. I'll, I'm not gonna give that's them a any. Bad like, look, I can't lie. What? <laughs> you don't care about the relationship? That's no, I, said, I don't care enough. I don't. I don't care in terms of like I'm not gonna be doing things without without understanding the repercussions of yeah. my actions yeah. okay that's what i mean but i Better don't care answer. about it right so that, that's why like, i i just would not cause him a problem yeah or their relationship a problem so my question is like why why do you need to cuddle with your friend that see it's, it's just me like i can cuddle with my sister i cuddle with my cousin i cuddle with my mom this is this is a, a personal like this is my personal way of just being around the people, I'm a very touchy person. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very touchy person. I and I also I'm aware of boundaries as well. Okay. Right. I can't go from here to spooning because the spooning there, I know the boundary is crossed. Do you get what I'm saying? I understand boundaries. It's not like a thing where so the, the, the only thing, so something. the only difference is from sitting up and laying down though. <laughs> you think and, about and it. And positions and positions. Yeah, but think think about it, man. But but let me tell you this. Uh, from a woman's perspective, and again, anybody can challenge me on this. Um, a woman will actually fall harder for a guy that isn't trying to be intimate with them sexually. <laughs> because you're hitting an emotional need, which most women yeah. women want fulfilled. Yeah. So, <laughs> They're on your ass. I yeah, it's, it's on you. The way she's preaching at NASA is so crazy. <laughs> See, uh, look, it's, it's always the nigg- it's always I, the niggas that speak first. That's all I have to say. So all I can say is like in before my relationship, any man who was actually there for me, like emotionally, like cared about me and we were friends, like yeah, there were feelings on one side or the other. Mm. And we were just waiting to see if that could actually become something. But we never really said anything until like it got to a certain point. Yeah. Right. So all I can say is that, like, be very 
I understand love language, but I think that there's ways to have physical touch uh, as a love language without doing that. That is your business, yeah. right? And that's fine. Um, but for me, I would feel like, oh, maybe he likes me. Mm. Or maybe there's something here. Oh, he's picking me up. Oh, he thought yeah. about me. Oh, he's what... These are things that men do when they care about you. Yeah. Okay, care. Let, me, let me add something to that as well. Okay. Right, if you're feeling that way... Are you like, because the nature of my friendships, we are very open. And also, every friendship is very different. Mm -hmm. Right? Every friendship is very, very different and distinct to its own. Right? The friendship, me and your friendship, because I'm aware of what, you, like, who you are, mm -hmm. that can't happen mm -hmm. because I know you're not going to accept certain things. Mm -hmm. Whereas the ones that, let's say, for example, with them, when they're asking me, do I cuddle with so, so, and so, it's fine because. When we're open with each other, we understand each other and we understand certain things. That, Like, for example, if I open the door for you, you can't start thinking, oh, this guy... Do you get what I'm saying? Maybe Whereas, not like, the first time. No, I know, I know but I'm saying... No, mm. my, my, point, my point is that over time, the nature of our friendships is that we're open with each other. If you then... If you have to... You have to say it out. Yeah. yeah. And on the nature of my friendships with these close friends that I have is that they will say it out. It's either they'll ask me why you're doing certain you things do or they'll I say it out. Like, but I, no, I understand yeah. your point because when, when we have these conversations, yeah. I understand why they find it so weird. And this is not all my friends. That's why when we have these conversations, I always have to, I have to clarify for, for the viewers because the thing is like, we know who we're talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but they don't, right? right? right. And a lot like, like going, going back to even um, uh, first impressions, right? A lot of a lot of what I do is very, very intentional, right? Even the making of the pod is very, very intentional and the making of having a guest on. Mm. A lot of people ask me, what's the topic? A lot of people ask me, what do I wear? Yeah, a, lot of <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people ask me, what's the vibe? What's this? I don't tell you anything yeah. because I need you to come here and give us yourself, the, yeah, the right? right? So that's and, and another thing is also, I haven't told these guys every episode we need to dress up because I, I'm, I'm confident in their style like we, you will see some episodes we look dope mm -hmm. we look dapper some guys some sometimes we're looking we don't <laughs> sometimes we huh? don't yeah, sometimes. yeah some, some, sometimes we don't but yeah. then the reason for that and the thing is I don't, I don't say these things a lot, of, a lot of the plans that I have I don't say them out loud mm -hmm. right I'll tell these boys sometimes I'll tell them like some of my plans when, when it's time mm -hmm. when we're discussing certain things then I would, I would say, tell them Oh, this is this is the idea that I had for this pod, but a lot of the things that I keep to myself, I've, I'm very intricate with a lot of these things, right? The fact that we don't dress up is intentional on its own, mm -hmm. because even I'm um, I'm happy that we asked this question mm -hmm. of your first impression because yeah. that's exactly what I wanted. Because when someone comes in here and sees, let's say, sees us dressed down, sees us in track suits, bum, like. You need to listen to what he says first, and then I'll gauge your reaction. Mm -hmm. Rather than you coming here, let's say like now a girl comes in here and we're all dressed up, and she fancies Isaac, mm -hmm. she's gonna be acting a certain way straight off the bat. Fair. Whereas if she came in here, Isaac's dressed down, and she's not paying attention to Isaac. Once he starts speaking, she's gonna hear what he has to say first mm -hmm. before her eyes start eating. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So that's that's why like. I didn't even tell you. Not you, not you putting your head out of your face. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's, why, that's why I didn't even tell you what to come out because I want people to see who you are. Yeah. yeah. And if you come in here and you're very cool, that's exactly what I want. People need to see exactly you. If if in your in your day to day you're gonna you wear tracksuits and you wear a jumper, mm -hmm. that's fine. You come here in that because people are gonna see the real. Shana, like when people follow you on Instagram, when people see you outside, they see what you put together. Mm -hmm. Whereas the essence of this, especially when we bring guests on, I want people to see them. Yeah. These yeah. guys have come on before. Yeah. Everyone knows the trio meal now. Everyone knows him. Everyone knows him. No matter how much he hides, everyone knows him. He's a, he's a lover boy. Yeah. He's a sweet boy. Yeah. He will disguise it. <laughs> Ah, Yo. It's, it's, it's hard to get it's hard to get Isaac's character out but after a whole year we're starting to see little mm -hmm. yeah. do you get what I'm saying and, yeah. and even like even some, some days people might think Isaac doesn't care about anything but throughout the whole year we have seen he does sometimes yeah. 
It's not all the time. Sometimes, you know. I I think okay. My one challenge on what you said is that like yeah, for sure, people can you know just see them but the other side of it is like all of the things that we put on are just adornments to who we are right yeah, yeah, so like yeah, isaac walked in and i was like interesting very interesting strong energy like i read his energy mm, first yeah right i was like <laughs> okay and then the minute that you were like trinity i was like this is family okay whatever yeah, right that's it, that's you know it. when you came in i was like Hmm. Roadman. All right. Okay. <laughs> Roadman is crazy. No, but what I actually, the first thing that I picked up on was that you were the only person who was like actually engaging when somebody else was speaking. And I actually really appreciated that. So I was like, this person, like, you care, you understand, and you're actually engaged. Mm -hmm. Like, I can appreciate that. Whereas maybe Isaac's more observant. He's mm -hmm. a little shit disturber, right? Like, he yeah. likes that. And yeah. that's, that's fine. Yeah, the way you're reading it's like, yeah. that's, that's exactly it. That's I exactly it. I study personality. Dude, wow. Dude, that's, 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 that's exactly it. That's like, so wild, you, you come back, you come back to me, yeah. but that's exactly like, the, like the, <laughs> there are a lot of people. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> there are a lot of people that, I was gonna start this podcast with yeah one we tried it the work. energy didn't feel right another so, we were thinking of yeah. and we knew that was not gonna go past episode one mm. and then over time i decided like when, when people ask me oh why why they i'll show you today why i ask i just do it firstly because it started off with me and sure there's there's certain things that i see within him that i'm just like it needs the podcast because we have the same idea from different point of view. Yeah. Then when we brought Isaac on, I need the same mindset, yeah. but a completely different personality. Look, yeah. And also, so like another thing is when 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 I asked Roy to do this, I asked him, "Are you ready to be consistent?" That's the first question. And it's the same thing when he asked me about Isaac. I said, "Is he ready to be consistent?" Because th this past how many months? Do you know how hard it's been to record an episode? <laughs> Like life has yeah. slapped us. Yeah. yeah. Life has slapped us. There's sometimes Isaac's not here. Sometimes Shory's not here. Like we used to do like two weeks ahead of time. Mm. Now we're running on just one week. Mm -hmm. We're running literally week everything week. everything is current, yeah. right? Yeah. But that that's what I that's the question that question that I asked before we started, are you ready to be consistent? Is that in itself? Mm -hmm. When the shit's the fan, how are we gonna deal? Yeah. And I need I, I'm I'm a I'm I find it hard to trust. I have a very, very small circle, right? So, when these questions are put up, I'm I'm happy people are able to see it now. Yeah. Because there's there's some time where we're biting heads, yeah. but I know that this is exactly why I brought this. This is why yeah, I brought us together. Yeah. It's not gonna be a a podcast if we're all here agreeing with each other. <laughs> no. Like no. yes, man. It doesn't make it, it it's, doesn't it's make a sense. Modern day debate, you know? right? <laughs> and and the great thing is, like the viewers are able to they're they're taking this and having their own debates with yeah. their friends yeah. and their own conversations. Yeah. Their conversation openers, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, which is such a beautiful thing. Yeah. You ready for me to read you now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, yes. You can. You can. You can yeah, first impressions and also today as well. Stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. so my, my first impression of you was definitely, like, the first time I really engaged with you or, like, saw you in closer proximity was at the 104 event. Oh, really? Yeah, that was, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the yeah, first yeah. time, because we've been, like, at Soul Supreme together and stuff like that, but we never really, like, engaged, right? Yeah. That was really, like, the first time, and then the first time we really sat down and had a conversation, again, was at Soul Supreme, yeah. right? And we actually got to, like, talk a lot, and we were talking relationships, and you were talking, like, yes, I want to be married, and yes, and I, I left that, like, I really respect you. Like, I really respect, like, who you are and what you stand for. Um, what I got to see today was your hot-headed side. Was your side? I was like, Doctor, let it go. It's fine. Like you don't have to prove your point so much, right? I do. I was born like this, <laughs> <laughs> which, which is fine, yeah. right? But that that shows me a part of you that like two sides. One side that is very much like I want to be understood. Mm. Mm. And this other side of you that's like, I'm okay with not being understood, but you yeah. need to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah that's it. Right? Yeah. And you will stand on that till you are blue in the face. <laughs> mm. Right? And like, not that you're asking for this, but this is what I do. Yeah. It, it's, <laughs> very, it's very much like, 
part of your journey in manhood is that you don't have to prove your point. Mm. There is something about saying what you need to stay, say and letting people ruminate on it. Because sometimes those lessons aren't for them. They're not ready to receive it. So even wow. if you keep screaming it, wow. they're not ready. You know, onto on on it. I've been telling you guys. On to, <laughs> yeah, on to, just, just to add on, just, just to, add on to, just, just to add on to what you're saying, yeah. right? Yeah. Powerful, the reason why Shore, Shore is not, he knows exactly what you're saying because the reason I decided to do a podcast was, and also the reason why I said Isaac should come on was that exactly. Because when me and Shore talk, mm-hmm. a lot of what we say are, agreements mm. and also we're both very not level-headed like sorry it's not gonna like he's, he's gonna say things that'll make me think yeah rather than say things that will instigate yeah. right yes. and the thing is i need it i need an instigation because on the outside outside of this podcast when i get instigated <laughs> i don't talk mm-hmm. but then here i need to express because yeah. it's a podcast yeah do you get what i'm saying so like Ooh, that's why like now. when when it comes to the podcast Ooh. when sure and i are talking that instigation is not going to happen. But when Isaac does it, I let go because I need it for the podcast. But I, we, we definitely understand because we have one brother in the Lord that does that. Mm. And sure, it knows me. I don't, I don't bait into this. But, but the thing is, and I want every single man in this room to hear this. And if you, you know, people listening is that again, each one of you has a very interesting perspective and that perspective does just, does deserve to be heard Mm. and a lot of times we don't know why people come in our path and what we're supposed to plant as a seed for them Mm. so holding your tongue sometimes is not the right thing for you to do Mm -hmm. it's the convincing part i don't need to convince you of anything but i can impart wisdom Mm. Right. What you do with the wisdom that I've given you is up to you. Yeah. Right. When you have somebody out there putting all the seeds out, we we aren't sitting there watching if it grows. You just put it out. Some of them are not going to bloom. Yeah. Right. But some of them will. And the thing is, there's people with your image, with your image, with your image, with all of your guys' image that are going to be attracted to you. There's younger guys that are going to look up to you and be like, man, I respect what they're doing, whatever. And if you are not sharing and only sharing in this container, guess what? They are not going to get the best out of you. Mm. I was told very young from one of my first boyfriends, half Nigerian, okay, that half Jamaican, half Nigerian. Wow. Right? Wow. Crazy combination. <laughs> Crazy combination. <laughs> <laughs> that was a scary, that was a scary combination that right there. The, our experiences job. are not for us, they're for others. Yeah. Wow. Right. And so think about how much and how openly I shared with you guys tonight. Mm. Like, think about the women that are going to watch this that might not agree with me. That's OK if you don't agree with me. But you might, you know, I'm 34. You might be 25 right now. Mm. You might hit your 30s and be like, I get what she was saying. Mm. Because my mindset at 25 is not what it is yep. at 30. Mm. Right. Yep. You might hear something from one of you guys that's like, man. Remember when the old heads used to talk about blah, 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 blah? It makes sense now. Yep. Yeah. You're happened. coming to, into those ages yeah. where you're like, man, I can put perspective to the things that were said to me. Yep. So all I'm saying is be selective, but understand that there is power in your voice and power in your words. And sometimes it's not about like needing to prove your point, but just being able to be articulate with your words. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it. I just was. Yeah. My job. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, it does. It's your job. <laughs> Get paid, big dude. That's, that's why I do this. Yes. <laughs> no man. Uh, is there is there anything you wanna shout out, or is there anything you wanna at least say to, to anyone personal the advice? Actually, no. Just give us one one piece of advice, men and women, separate points. Okay. Um, so my piece of advice based off of today's conversation for men, it, you know, it's the same message for both in a different way. Um, you're both valuable. You're both extremely valuable and you deserve to find somebody and find a career and like live a life that is fulfilling to you. Um, my biggest piece of advice is like, stop compromising, stop compromising on the things that, you know, don't make you happy. Stop compromising on the things that you know are draining your bank account and you know you shouldn't be doing. Stop compromising on being around friends that don't elevate you. 
like this room has elevated every single one of these people poured into me tonight the same way that I think I enriched them. Right. And you want to be in circles where you can do that. Um, go after what you want. Like we life is so short. Mm -hmm. My mentor died at 40 years old and I was 30. And he was consulting for Rock Nation at that. Point. He was in talks to start consulting for the Raptors the wow. year after they won. He, like um, he was doing some really amazing things and just didn't wake up. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Love hard. Love hard because you know what? Like you might not get the opportunity to tell somebody that you love them. Mm -hmm. You might not get the opportunity to like have the hard conversations with people, have the hard conversations. If you are wasting somebody's time, please just let them go, like set them free. If you love somebody and you need to claim them, claim them. Like life is so short. So if you are, if you're young and you think you have time, let me tell you, it goes by really, really fast and you so. don't know when your last day is. So yeah. you have to take advantage of every single thing that you're doing. That message is straight from my heart in love for every single person that is watching right now, because listen, you don't get another chance. Yeah. That's it. Lovely. She also forgot to say comment and subscribe. Subscribe, man. Subscribe. Nicky Morton killed it. <laughs> subscribe and subscribe up. and then subscribe some more as well. I also follow her as well, but obviously her thing is going to be up. Um, Thank you for coming on, man. I actually yeah. learned a lot from you today. I really appreciate all you said. Thank you. I, I, listen, whenever you need a female perspective like mine, I would love to come back. This was fantastic. 100%. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Black women independence. <laughs> <laughs> this was amazing. Yeah.